Candy canes in silver lanes that glow. Thank you for choosing Snoop. I have a great day. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Hi, welcome to Snoop Box, where we make your coffee like Snoop. And you're not going to want to buy just one, but two. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They make me stand for the holidays. What can I get you, girly? Um, let me just get the Snoop Box special and make it a decaf. You got it. That will be four fifty. Here you go. Thank you. Don't you just love Christmas? It just makes me so excited. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Actually, right now I'm not thinking about Christmas. Being that my dad is in the hospital and all. What? Yeah. No yeah. luck for Christmas. It's my absolute favorite time of the year. Every Christmas, my husband and I, we like to outdo each other's gifts. Mm -hmm. But the first year of our marriage, we were broke. And all he could do to afford to buy me at the time was this ugly Christmas sweater. <sighs> Man, it was awful. No good see nightmares. Wait, wait. Uh, I can only imagine an ugly Christmas sweater. It was probably really ugly. I know, right? But then the year after that, he bought me this really expensive cute pair of boots. Okay. See, see? I'm wearing them right now. Michael Kors, oh, very expensive. Oh. And then the year after that, he bought me this very expensive Apple Watch. See, see? It was $4.99.99 plus tax. Have you ever got something this expensive before for Christmas? Um, well, actually, yes. My dad, he, he got me a brand new Tesla. What? Wow. Uh, well, I got the iPhone 13, and I just got it a few days ago. Oh, OK. Well, um, again, I'm not going to be giving gifts this year, and you know, with my dad being in the hospital, it's just not gonna happen. I'm, I'm oh. sorry, I don't mean to eavesdrop. I'm so sorry. I just heard your conversation, and last year during Christmas, I totally understand about the gifts and not uh -huh. making this happy. Or my mom had a stroke. And so a friend of mine from church, from the Wayworld Outreach. Um, he, excuse me, are you able to go this way? My line's getting a little long. I'm Thank so you, Merry sorry. Christmas. Oh, oh, oh okay. Um, but anyways, what happened to your mom? Yeah, see, she had a bad stroke. It just all of a sudden happened. And I was afraid she wasn't going to make it. And my friend invited me to church. And it was the best thing I could have ever done. They shared a story of uh, Brett. And he had had a stroke. And God saved him and healed him. Can I, can I share that story with what you? What was his name again? Bert? Brett. Bert, yes. Oh, Sorry. OK, OK. Yes, I would love to see this Here story. We go. Hello. So how about that? Isn't that wonderful? Wow. That was a miracle story. But I'm sorry, I didn't even get your name. Oh, I didn't say. I'm Donna. Hi, and you are? I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you, nice Jessica. Nice to meet you. This is a fantastic story. And God does miracles every day. And I know I'm here in the mall, hustle and bustle, trying to get a gift for my kids and my grandkids. But you know what? I, I have to remember what, what the season's all about, not just about giving, right? Giving, gifts, giving. I don't even think I'm going to be doing that this year. Being that my dad, he's in the hospital. It's not going to happen. Well, so. I do got I do got to say, that giving is an important part of Christmas. I mean, God gave us the best gift ever, and that's Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wow. Wow. See, and the thing about Jesus Christ is what he gives us. He gives us salvation, peace, joy, healing, miracles. Wait, healing? Yeah, absolutely. What's this healing you talk about? See, God came to heal us. And I know, I know that there could be a healing in your father. If I, can I pray for your dad? I mean, knowing yes. that he's in the hospital, can I pray yes, for him? Yes, yes, but, but before we do, there's a story. Uh, and when I went back to church, another amazing testimony. His name is Udi. Udi? And yeah, he had gone through some issues and difficulties, and God saved him and healed him. Can we take a look? Yes. Yeah. Hi, my name. Wasn't that amazing? 
That is amazing. That's a miracle. <laughs> wow, that was a great story. Yes. God is so good. He God is. is so good. Um, yeah, God is good, but, you know, I, I have to go now, so uh, maybe. I was, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll see each other again. Yeah. It was really nice meeting nice you. Nice meeting you. Have a great Bye. Day. Thank you. All right, before we leave, can I pray for your dad, though? I just feel it in my heart, like, um, yeah. I, I have to go. I, I understand, but I think that he's going to get a healing. He's going to be a miracle right now. Okay. Can we pray? Okay. Your Father, we want to thank you for the healing power that you have and you give us, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for right now healing Jessica's father. And you're going to get him up, Father God. Then you're going to give him a new life, Father God. And we thank you. We thank you for your healing powers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. that. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. Okay. I know you are. Bye. Donna. Yeah. They just texted me from the hospital. (laughs) What happened? They're telling me that my dad is awake. <laughs> That's who God is. You tell me he's awake. How can this be? You just, you just prayed that prayer. It's not a coincidence. It's definitely a miracle. See, God, God gave us the greatest gift, and that gift was Jesus. And in this season, Jesus saves and he heals and he has miracles, but he saves. He saves hearts and he saves souls, Lord. And and I know, I know that God can give you a brand new life. A brand new life? Yes, he can give you a brand new life. I want this brand new life. See, Jessica, what you got to do is give him your heart. Give him your life. Would you pray and repeat after me? Yes, I want it. I want this. We'll do that. We'll do that. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. Thank you for coming into this world. Thank you for coming into this world. For living and dying for me. For living and dying. For forgiving my sins and my mistakes. For living and dying for my mistakes. For living and dying for my mistakes. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you. Thank you for this salvation. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for forgiving me. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God is good. God is wonderful, Jessica. God is amazing in this season, right? Donna, Donna, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I'm calling you and texting you. We got to get in line. We got to get more gifts. Honey, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you, but this is Jessica. I just met her today. Hi, nice to meet you. And nice we pray for her dad. Her dad is healed yes. in the name of Jesus. And, and in this Christmas season, she accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. Praise. <laughs> Praise God. I feel foolish now. Jesus is a reason for the That's season. That's right. Amen. That's right. Man, praise God. Jessica, are you okay? What's wrong, sweetheart? I'm okay. I'm happy. Yeah. But how can I go through this and my dad was in the hospital, even though they said he's healed and he's awake? We got in, we got in an argument right before. So how can I go back and say sorry to him, let alone what do I say to him? The great thing about God is that not only, not only does he come to, to save, to heal, and heal hearts and heal bodies, but he heals families. My husband and I, <laughs> my husband and I almost got a divorce, what? and it was crazy. I was so foolish. Yes, he was. <laughs> but, but praise God, he he brought us back. And we have a story. Can you get Savannah's yeah, story out? Yeah. Savannah came to Christ, and she was she was a mess, and she had shame and guilt, and she didn't know what was going to happen to her family. But God restored her and her son. Wow. Let, let's take a look at the story. You'll yeah. see. Yes. But, but you know what? To. I'm so glad that we got to meet. Yes. And I can't wait for you to join us at church. I get to disciple oh, you. Okay. And you're now a part, part of, of the family. family. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at this video. Let's take a look. Let's give everybody a round of applause who's part of this drama. Jackie, part of our women's home. 
the power of God. That's the transformation power of God. And I just heard right now one of Jackie's dreams or goals this year is to start a choir with all homeless people. To really reach people for the kingdom of God. Let's give Jackie a round of applause. The drama team, the worship. Give the choir a round of applause. You guys did so great. All the testimonies. If we could all stand at this time. Before we leave this auditorium today, you guys. We want to give you an opportunity. For you to experience your greatest miracle ever. The greatest miracle is Jesus coming into our life. Changing our hearts that are heavy and hard and addicted and are, that's the greatest miracle of all, salvation. And maybe you're here today, yeah, maybe it's a physical thing today. You, you need Jesus to be your healer today. Jesus is, he's our healer. He's our savior. And just like Pastor Marco said in this message, what, what, what is Jesus saving us from? This misery of sin. These addictions. And most of all, judgment and punishment. Yes, give Jesus a shout of praise. Yes, saves us from punishment of sin. Saves us from eternal separation from God. This is your day today. This is your day to give your life to Jesus. This is your day to make Jesus the Lord of your life. I'm going to ask you a question. If you were to die today, where are you going? Have you surrendered your life to God? Have you made Jesus the Lord of everything? Have you received forgiveness of all your sins? Today is your day. Those watching online right now, tune into this moment. This is your day. Maybe you're at a hospital bed. Maybe you're at home. Maybe you're at work. Maybe you're driving on vacation. Tune in into this moment. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. It's not tomorrow. It's not next month. We're not guaranteed the next half hour. So here it goes. You say, Pastor, I want Jesus. I want forgiveness of all my sins. I want to make sure if I die today, I'd go straight to heaven. I want to surrender to God. Jesus paid the price. I don't have to be judged and, and, and go to eternal punishment in hell because hell awaits everyone. The lake of fire is awaiting those who have not received Jesus as their Savior. Today is your day. Let's get right with God. This is it. Here it goes. I'm going to count to three. You're saying, Pastor, I want God. I want to be forgiven of all my sins. I want to make sure if I die today, man, I, I'm right with God. That's me. I need God. I need a Savior today. I need a miracle today. If that is you, slip your hands up when I count to three. One, two, three. Three, right now, raise your hands, raise your hands. So I want God, I see a hand there, I see a hand there, I see a hand there. Any hands over here in the middle, I see a hand there. So I want God, I need a miracle today. I see the hand there, I see the hand there, I see the hand there. All those who just raised your hands, I want you to come forward. Come meet me down here in the front, and we're going to lead you in a prayer of salvation today. Come on down. If you need a miracle, you need God. Come on down. This is your day. This is your day. Come, come, come. If you need to rededicate your life to God, come. You've been backslidden. You've been running. You need to rededicate your life to God. Come, come. This is your day. You need a healing in your body. Come to the front. You need a miracle from God. Come to the front. This is your day. This is your day. Come, come, come. Yes. Yes. Come on down, you guys. Come on down. We're waiting for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is your day. This is your day. This is your day. This is your day. Yes, this is your day. Come, come, come. Come, 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 come. This is your day. Yeah, we got three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 people giving their hearts to God right now. This is it right here. This is it. This is your day. This is your day, sweetie. Your name right now is about to get recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life. So what is that? 
When you pass away, there'll be a book that will be opened. It's called the book of life. Every person who received Christ, their name is recorded in this book. All the names that are not found in this book, they will be cast into the eternal judgment, cast into the lake of fire, cast into hell. All the names that are in the book get to spend eternity with Jesus. Yes, give G, yeah, eternity with God. If everyone could bow their head and close their eyes. For the ones that are at your seats today, you say, man, I need God too. And I, I want to say this for you. Yeah, say it with us. And don't forget those at your seats today, we're having our 4 o'clock Christmas giveaway of presents. You want to volunteer here at 2. We're giving away 3,000 presents here at 4 o'clock. You want to come join us? Come join us. Every head bow, every eyes closed right now. Repeat after me. Say, Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I ask forgiveness. I repent of all the wrong that I've done. Jesus, come into my heart. Become my Lord and Savior. Set me free from all my bad habits, all my addictions. Holy Spirit, fill me. Today I am saved. Today I am born again. I'm on my way to heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for paying the penalty for my sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.